The RV Marcus G. Langseth berthed at Friot Street Wharf after conducting oceanographic surveys south of Fjordland. Owned by the United States government, the vessel was operated by Columbia University's Lamont Doatry Earth Observatory. Their latest study has been where continental plates are slowly colliding off the Fjordland coast. Professor Mark Gurness says the area they studied is one of a kind. We actually have, and it's unique on this planet, that's actually why we're here. We're here because there's a unique process and that is the Australia plate is going underneath the Pacific. We can see this um, nucleating for the first time. Several million years ago this didn't happen. And so this new boundary between these tectonic plates is forming right now. And one of the great mysteries of geophysics and the great mysteries of plate tectonics is that um, we don't know how this happens, right? And it's of great significance because scientists want to understand how plate tectonics works, right? Because that's the ultimate thing which controls geology. It controls seismic hazards. It, closed, it determines the existence of resources. While the survey was a success, the wild southern ocean did pose some challenges. We mapped out the subsurface. We mapped out what the seafloor looked like. And, uh, and it was a tough expedition because um, the seas in the Southern Ocean can be really quite rough. And the kind of instrumentation that we deploy, we're going to describe them, you know, they're very difficult to work in, in rough waters. The research vessel leaves for Honolulu tomorrow, but the survey data that was obtained will be studied for many years to come. Rudy Adrian, The South Today.